What's up, guys? I'm going to pause for a bit. I was going to Im imitate Mira, but I'm really not going to do it. But what's up, guys? It's Whiskey Website Wednesday. I'm Gauche. I don't know who's under the box head. But I am the PPC manager, and this is... Oh, it's Mira. Whew. I was going to imitate I was it. waiting for you to imitate me fully. And I was practicing what's right up, before. guys? My name is Mira. Mira. This is episode 25. Um, my name is Mira. I'm the social media manager, and this is Gauche, the PPC manager. Hold on, my hair. My hair has to be like this. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, anyhow, uh, I had to deprive you guys of that. We'll do an uh, impersonation episode another day, and I will go into full character. Got you. Uh, anyhow, what are we drinking today? We're drinking the Glen Livet 15 years of age single malt scotch whiskey. <laughs> the Glen Livet 15 years of age scotch whiskey. I was about to say happy birthday. Um, just so you guys know, the last time we drank Glenlivet, it was the 12 year, so we've gone up three years. This is the French Oak Reserve, though. So, yeah. um, what's the difference? Where, where's that reserve? <laughs> <laughs> it's reserved in India. Um, <laughs> I know, the, 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 the difference basically is that. Uh, they're aged the same way for the first 12 years, and then the last three years for the 15, uh, they're actually, um, blah. She just completely threw me off, alright? Uh, for the last three years, they're aged in uh, a new French limousine, limousine, oak, uh, which actually you use typically for a cognac pr production. Which one? Okay, which one's which? Okay, this one's... Is this a new one? No. This has a little bit more of like a chocolatey sweetness. I can't believe you sneezed. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm feeling under the weather. Uh, As is like three of our other members in the office. Or four, I think. Sounds like she has the sniffles, too. Anyhow, I'll, while she pours, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it. So this 15-year-old expression from Glenlivet was matured in a French limousine. Limousine, limousine, oak cask. Uh, it's a popular choice for a maturation of cognac. The tasting notes, the nose is rich and oaked. Don't know what that means. Uh, there are notes of chewy, resinous wood. Don't know why people are chewing resinous wood. Uh, with well-balanced acidity. Fudge and Madeira with apple crumble with Calvados. All right, someone look mm. up what Calvados or Calvados are. Chewy. Um, did you just smell it and say chewy? All right, good. Are you uh, even surprised the, the, by anything I do anymore? The palate is full and rich with winter spice, cinnamon, and cloves, thick oak with developing aridity. And the finish is long and dry with a peppery note. Developing the, aridity? Yeah. I honestly don't know what that is. I'll be right back. One second. That's weird. Okay, so we're doing our normal thing. Um, looking over the glass or the piece of paper, swirling it around, smelling it. Should I drink by myself? No, I'll wait for him. I hope you guys are having a great day. Just uh, waiting for him to blow his nose. Um, I can't believe this is our 25th episode, huh? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Oh, man. Gosh. Okay. 25th episode, yeah. All so, right. uh, let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -mm. I kind of want to just try it against this one. Yeah, I, legitimately what I'm thinking as well. Oh, while she's doing that, um, I'm trying to think of like, I don't... It does have a woody taste to it though. It's interesting, it's, we it's weird. Um, there is a winter, I, I understand, I think I, I understand what they mean by the winter spice. There is a clove taste to it too. I don't taste the cinnamon at all. But there is a, yeah, there is like a oaky, woody taste to this, which I didn't know you could actually taste, but now I taste it. Side note, if someone wants to get us like Rub A535 or, what is it? WD40 for our door. Sure. Rub A535. Yeah, I was like, yo, what? Muscle relaxation. Yeah, I was just like, who, wait, who are we, what? Okay. Now, we're going to do a trick taste test. I got you a... Thank you. Daru, PK. I'm Punjabi, guys. <laughs> Very Punjabi. Okay. Oh, this smells very different. 
This has like a caramel hint to it. Yeah. Right? This does not. I don't think I smelled this the first time. Like, actually. Yo, this is so caramel. Mm. Am I just better at this? Damn, I learned. That's crazy. I didn't even know I could do that at this age. Mm. Mm. Oh, you can taste the difference. This one's sweeter. So now we're just double fisting? Yeah. Uh, so the 12 is sweeter. Mm -hmm. It does have a caramel scent to it. Um, this one is a lot spicier. The, there is an oaky uh, texture to it, or flavor to it. It can taste the cloves as well. I do not taste cinnamon though. I taste the fudge. You do taste not. the fudge? Don't. But anyhow, um, still I think it's worth a shot. Um, I'm going to try it with water in a bit. But in the meantime, Mira is going to just start talking about stuff and spill water everywhere. That wasn't bad. That, wasn't that bad. really was not bad. In the grand scheme of things, it's... All right, you guys ready for like a little bit of an update on social media hot minutes? You ready? Sure. I have it in very big writing right now. Okay. So if you're tired of Facebook, there are six up and coming alternatives. Time One, up. Time up. I'm already timing you up. There's six up and coming alternatives? So this is the thing. It doesn't seem like it's like actually taking over Facebook. These ones are just alternatives to niche markets. Okay. So yeah, if, you, I'm assuming if you're tired you're of the clutter, the, the yeah, yeah. Okay. if you're tired of the clutter, mm -hmm. these would be best for you. So the first one is called Amino Apps. It's a social network for nerds and niche communities. What? Sorry, sorry. Um, me, and the, me, me and the producer were just talking about that. We talk about like health and nutrition a lot, and no, it's not like Amino. Acids, I know, but it, it's it said Amino, and we were we just looked at each other and we're like. We talking nutrition, fam? Okay, so this was the headline for nerds and niche communities. I'm not just saying yeah. whatever. And it's targeted towards 16 and 24-year-olds. Uh, there's another one called Rafter, which is a social network for curating and un unfolding stories. It puts stories first instead of people. Kind of reminds me a bit about Flipboard. If you know about Flipboard, it just curates stories that have inter are of interest to you. Uh, Lego Life. It's a safe social network just for kids. <coughs> so if you want your kids in a safe community, that would be the one for you. Uh, Musically, this has been around since 2014, but it's an app that is has about 90 million user, users what? or something. Damn. That sounds like a lot. Yeah. Um, and you can create 15 second videos, lip syncing, and dancing to your favorite songs. Our office would kill that shit. I'm sorry for swearing. <laughs> Um, Zenly is an accurate way to locate your friends. It's popular in schools. I don't know if I would want my friends to locate me right now. I just, I want to be by myself. I don't know why you'd want anyone <laughs> locating you at any time. Like, just, um, There's another one called Hype. It's a social network that blends multimedia and live video. You can, like, overlay different elements, sauce from your camera roll, live video, etc. on t I don't know. I'll test it out. We'll see. Cool. Uh, there's a new startup called Token, which helps you find the perfect gift. You can enter a bit of info. <laughs> Why was that word hard for me? Info. I'm sorry, about... guys. Honestly, I'm just going to apologize for today's episode. Uh, I think it's because we're under the weather. I don't know what's happening, but we, we, we have found the part right now. <laughs> you can... We need your help. All right. But she's going to tell you about the information. Right information now. about the gift recipient, including their style, other variables that they like. And then you can filter out thousands of products that may be of interest to them for you to give to them. Instagram now has over 700 million users. So again, if you are not on Instagram, that's where you should probably think about being. You know, if you're not on Instagram, what are you? I don't know. Some people do social media detoxes. Maybe not. Twitter has added 9 million users in the past three months, so their Q1 was pretty solid. Good job, I would Twitter. like to pause that for a second. Some people are blaming or blaming or crediting Donald Trump for this. I don't think Donald Trump should get any credit for anything. But I check yeah. Twitter when Instagram is down just to see if it's down. I just stress tweet. That's all. Uh, <laughs> one of the, whenever the Raptors or Leafs are playing, mm -hmm. uh, RIP Leafs, but that was a great season, by the way. Loved it. Next season, because I can't wait for next season. This, this, uh, squad. Are you ready right. for the Raptors on Thursday? Tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, they, they look like themselves again, so I think they're they're good. Bucks are with their Barney songs. Uh, Did you see the Blue Jays dive yesterday? That was amazing. It was like, uh, look at me and my sports. There you go. Oh, my head. Yay, sports. Yeah. Did anyone get a touchdown? <laughs> of course you would do that. <laughs> go on. Okay. Um, Twitter also has plans to eventually air live video 24-7. They do that with Bloomberg and BuzzFeed right now, but they're going to start integrating that 
somehow. What do you mean, like twenty four? Twenty four seven, like twenty four hours a day. Somehow. Yeah, but no, like what? How do you what? Just you just stream like Facebook Live, or how is it gonna work? Kind of like that, okay. I would think. Let me research that more. You know, I was like kind of skimming through some of these headlines, so whatever. Mobile now accounts for <clears throat> actually. Hold on, sorry, let me gather myself. Mobile now accounts for the majority of digital ad spending. So if you're heavy on traditional marketing, you might want to rethink your marketing strategy. Again, if you're heavy on traditional marketing now, it's 2017. I don't know. Start thinking about adopting social media into your strategy. I mean, at this point, call uh, us if you need to. Yeah. I mean, regardless of who you're calling, <clears throat> whether it's us, Ghostbusters, or anyone else, um, you have to consider this. Uh, if just because it worked 10 years ago or 15 years ago doesn't mean it's going to work now. The same way that works. It, it, that works for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, things don't work the same anymore. Yeah. You know, we used to have phones that were bricks. They were called Nokia's. Now we have iPhones. They were the best because you play Snake, though. Uh, actually, one of our... Uh, actually, Hiran, who was on the last episode, was telling me about when he was uh, working back then. Uh, they would kick that phone back and forth as part of a game until the phone started ringing oh, and they'd really? pick it up. Yeah, and that's that sturdy. That phone you could do anything with. Can you imagine any of us doing that to the phones now? No, but at the same time, these phones are... Some people do that with their iPhone just because yeah. they're really yeah. upset about them. Yeah, that's true. I don't understand. If do you have any user. SEO or PPC or website tips you want to give anyone? Yeah. It's lit! It is. <laughs> That's it. Um, um, no, uh, in terms of, I mean, it's just, it's an ever growing, ever evolving field. Um, SEO came up with a few changes. I mean, SEO. Google came up with a few algorithm changes recently, and now they're really penalizing like um, certain types of backlinks, uh, especially ones that aren't relevant. So you, I guess it's going after even more after the black hat SEO. Mm -hmm. So which is something you need to be aware of. But you know, overall. It's an ever, always evolving field, and if you have like really specific questions that you want answered, you can always email me uh, we, or get on the phone with us, or even come on an episode. Like you know, we're gonna do that soon. But I just wanted to mention one more thing again: Hip House Works. I'm super excited. Yes, our job fair. Hip House Works is our job fair that's happening on Tuesday, June 13th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. We have just launched everything, so the Eventbrite page for attendees to sign up, as well as we have some exhibitor and sponsor ship available so if you're a company that wants to recruit young professionals this is the avenue for you if you don't know what the hip house is it is our young professionals organization um and we're also celebrating our three year in may so it's if 17th? you 17th of May at Maison Mercer uh, from 5 to 9. We're hosting our free Young Professionals Networking event. We will let you guys know more about that and link the details for both of these events in our description box. They are both free. So you, this is a free resource that we are just providing to everyone. Um, and again, Outside the Box is sponsoring it because obviously. So do come out if you guys are <coughs> available. The Hip House May 17th we're gonna have some cool yeah we got some cool plans to do uh, we're gonna try to spice it up and yeah. get everyone a little bit more involved and active and she just did that and sorry for, so, I'm sorry you guys had to experience that but yeah we're gonna do a little bit of that it's gonna be a fun time I have uh, no shame yeah it's all good yeah. I mean sh what's eh. the point of shame Meh. Um, again, if you guys have any questions for us, uh, maybe you want to learn the difference between black hat SEO and white hat SEO, maybe you guys want to know how to hack Instagram, maybe you guys want to know what the best way to optimize your PPC budget, I don't know, maybe maybe any of these can be appealing to you. So email us at think at outsidethebox.com. My name is Mira, Mira at outsidethebox.com. This is Gauche. Gauche at outsidethebox.com. And if you have any questions for us, if you guys want to know what we think about I don't know where I was going with the sentence. If you want to know what we think about life, you can call us. Uh, if you want to know more about what we think about Glenlivet, you can come drink with us. And if you want to bring in your own bottle and experience it with us, you can. Just call me. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit! Slide in my DMs. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, guys. We hope you have a productive marketing day. I don't know, yeah. man. I,